Hello guys, welcome back. Um, how are you guys doing? I hope you guys enjoyed my last tutorial of my object orientation. Well, in this tutorial we're going to go in more depth about object orientation and we're going to look through concepts uh, more in detail. In this tutorial we're going to look at inheritance. Inheritance is one of the main concepts of object orientation which is really helpful in a variety of cases and as I've said before many times that in programming uh, there's nothing called this is the best thing that you have that would do the best job everything depends on the situation and your problem and what you want to solve actually so well so in this tutorial we're going to learn about inheritance inheritance is basically like you create an object and then you create another object that would inherit features from the previous object and well it sounds it might sound a bit complicated but it's not so for this uh, to uh, for this tutorial we is going to create actually, actually I'm going to create three classes one of them is in front of you which is tutorial 9 uh, uh, why am I going to create three classes um, it's because of the fact that uh, I have basically uh, three classes because it's I'm going to create a one class called shape then I'm going to create another class called uh, square and then I'm going to call shape and square in our tutorial 9 class and then we are going to analyze the data within shape and uh, the uh, square class because yeah so basically how you can apply inheritance is that if you have some up some a uh, list of objects you would um, filter out certain features that are common like in terms of shapes if you have if I'm having or if I'm desiring I mean if I'm thinking to draw four shapes sha uh, square triangle rectangle and circle now all of them have one thing in common which is yes x, x coordinates and y coordinates so well so so my best approach would be to create a general class that would have x and y as its attributes and then I would have the four classes, rest four classes which would be square, circle, triangle and square, rectangle inheriting from that shape class and they would inherit all the attributes and all the methods of the shape class in addition to their own uh, methods like they would have their own method like draw square and uh, for square for circle it would have its own method called draw circle and stuff like that we're not going to go into details about how to draw circle and stuff like that but we're just going to analyze how um, uh, this thing how it works actually so let's just create uh, a class called shape how do you do it well you know it right click new geo class shape finish and now I have my class shape. It says public class shape. Now in shape class I have attributes x and y which are integers. So it can be long. I can put a double to make it precise but we are, uh, we're not going to care about details. We're just going to put integer here. And I'm going to make it then public. I'm going to go into that deta in detail later but for now just accept that we're just going to do it public. Public uh, int x. Yeah, Let's initialize the variable as 0 public int y equals zero. Um, then um, I'm going to be having a class constructor as we discussed before. So uh, in my previous tutorial about class constructor. So that's my class constructor. And in my class constructor, I'm going to ask for x and y. So int x int y. And then this dot x equals x since we have same variable names you have to say which one is which so yeah so now I've got my shape and and yeah so that's it now I'm gonna create another class which is square new Java class square and uh, in this square I'll, I would and then I'm just gonna create another class quickly triangle and I'm not gonna waste time doing the other classes but for now yeah, so now, I mean, if I want to inherit the properties of shape, I would have to 
right extends. Extends is a keyword in Java which would allow you to extend classes to their previous classes. So that so I mean that would extend the previous class to your current class. So square extends shape. So shape. Now what does this mean basically is that square class square is extending the shape class. Let's see what the error okay. So what what we basically need to do now is that for first of all we need to initialize the shape because no we need a class constructor first for square. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna we're just gonna create a class constructor square Uh, and well, basically, we are going to ask for x, y, width, and height. Okay, so no, sorry, x, y, and length, because square is same length. Oh my god. Okay, int x, int y, int uh, int, yeah, int length. Okay. Now, if you see, I'm 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 still getting an error. Why? Because I haven't initialized the inner class shape yet. What does this mean? Is that I mean it's like a it's it's like a circle which is square. I mean it's like a object square, and then it has an inner object called shape. So I have to fulfill all the properties of shape in order to make the upper class share a square. So I have to do super, which means that shape is the super class, and then I have to pass x y. So now what I've done here is I'm. Um, this is basically a class constructor for the inner class sh shape, which is the which, a which is actually superclass. I mean, okay, superclass meaning that the square is a type of shape. So all the properties of shape are inherited in square. So if you're extending shape, then you have to pass the values to the constructor of shape by using the keyword super. I hope this is understandable because it's 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 very important to understand this concept so again I'm just gonna go through this again I have a class constructor for called square in order to make the square class you know in order to initialize the square class I have to first fulfill the properties of the shape class in order to fulfill the properties of the shape class I have to pass I have to create shapes class constructor in order to create shapes class constructor to of the inner class shape I have to use this super keyword and then that's my class constructor. If you see here, if you go into the shape class, that's your sh class constructor X and Y. And I've done the same thing here. I'm just passing X and Y into this class constructor. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a public variable length equals zero. And uh, um, it's an integer. And this dot length Okay, so now basically what I've done is I've taken the length uh, parameter of the class constructor of square and I've assigned the length to square. Now, remember, since shape is the superclass, since shape is the class which has been inherited by square, I don't have to save the parameters x and y of shape. I can just pass it to the superclass and that would save it for me. So, yeah, and... You would probably get more idea of this when I would test this class later on. Another thing what I would like to do is I would like to define the number of sides of square because the square has got three sides. So I'm just gonna put a create a final variable. Final variable means that if I assign an uh, an integer type variable called uh, sides equals four, it cannot change sides later. So I can't. I, I would not be able to edit this variable anywhere in this code later on. Okay, so yeah, so now it's public size score. So square has four sides, so that's it. That's what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna copy this and I'm just gonna put this into triangle dot Java class and and uh, this triangle extends shape as well. And to do that, what I would do is triangle into x into length, and I'm I'm always I'm also gonna say the uh, what else does triangle have? 
it can be it has types, right? Accu Optus or something like that. But I'm not gonna do that. And size is three, and length is probably whatever. Uh, okay, let's assume that it's a all the it's a equilateral triangle, which sides thingy and all sides same and all angles same at sixty. So yeah. So well, let let's just leave it here. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to test these classes. Now we only have attributes in these classes and not methods. So what you're going to do here is I'm just going to test in my tutorial online class. I'm just going to create a square, a shape first. So shape s equals new shape 2020. So I've created a new shape. Now if I want to create a square, I don't need to have shape. I can just say square sq equals new square uh, five, uh, 550 50 uh, length of each side is 30 okay right and I'm just gonna create another triangle triangle T equals new triangle uh, 90 90 uh, each side is 10 okay so basically, what we've done here is that we've created a shape class, we've created a square class, and we've created a triangle class. Now, if you see here, we are not saving any of the x and y's. So if so, if I'm, um, but since we have used inheritance, since we have had extends shape, we should be able to access these variables through the super class. So I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to just say square is at location plus sq dot and if you see I can access these variables here I can access square I can access x and y of the square variable even though I don't have x and y here that is because of the fact that x and y are the attributes of the superclass shape and since square extends the superclass shape I can I have access to those variables and I have passed these values inside that superclass, so I can access the x and y directly through the uh, thingy, through the dot x and y. See, so is that location x? Uh, y. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy this again, and I'm just going to say that triangle is at location t dot x, if you see, and t dot y. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to say again that square has plus sq dot sides. I can access sides as well because it's a property of square. So sq dot sides, and square has that size. So size, sides. Sorry. And I'm just gonna copy this here, and that's t dot sides. Triangle has this, and base. And I'm just gonna do this again for shape. The shape is not having anything like sides, so we can't really get values to that but shape is that location there okay if I run this program then <clears throat> I should be able to uh, have shape is at location 2020 20. square is at location 50 50 square has four sides triangle is at location 90 90 and triangle has three sides and have I changed it to three yes I have okay so I'm just gonna run this class now and shift f6 to run and this should be filled with what I just said and it has square a shape is at location 2020 20. square is at location 50 50 that square has four sides four because is in by default and triangle is at it has three sides and triangle is at location 990 okay another thing let's do same thing using methods okay so i'm so what i'm going to do is basically i'm just going to Create a method in Square public int calculate get area equals 
and what we're gonna do is return um, side times <coughs> um, size times length. Okay, so that's our area, and same is gonna be with triangle, but that's not right. Uh, uh. Oh man, not here. Yes, triangle. And I'm gonna copy this here and get the area. Okay, now if you if I'm here, okay, now I'm gonna say that square has uh, area. Oh, uh, okay. Square has area of. Is the area now, and and what we're, I'm just going to do the same for this. Triangle has area of this. Okay, so I'm just going to run this thing, and now it says shape is allocated. Blah 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 blah. Square has an area 120, which is length. 30 times by 4 and a triangle has three sides and triangle is an area of 30 which is 10 times 3 we have said here 10 it's not right i know but i'm just being lazy to apply the uh, area which is half base by heart uh, base by altitude which is well, i'm just lazy to apply that formula now so yeah so that was basically inheritance that you just saw and you can practice this code later on and I'm gonna make another example in my next tutorial about inheritance because I think that it is important to uh, demonstrate the, inher the capabilities of this inheritance more and more so and by inheritance you can create actual family trees like you can have father and then son and then grandson and then grand grandson whatever and uh, you can, I mean, and all the properties of father will be inherited by the grandson, and and all the properties of father, son, and grandson will be inherited by the grand grandson, whatever. And yeah, that way in inheritance works same way it works in Java. I mean, objects inherit stuff, and and the you can create a whole chain. And I'm just going to show you one quick thing, which I think is important at this stage. If you if you, ha if you have ever looked at the Java API, and if you see something like, uh, let's go and let's see something cool. Okay, array list. Let's, let's look on the array list. Okay, so array list is a Java thing. And if you see here, object is the superclass here, and java.util.abstract collection, which is a generic class, that has inherited all the properties of the object class. Again, the abstract list has inherited all the properties of abstract collection class, which has, again, inherited properties of the object class. So all the attributes, all the methods of object class has been inherited by the abstract class indirectly. While ArrayList, I mean, ArrayList has inherited abstract class now. So ArrayList has, has all the attributes and methods of abstract class and of abstract collection class and of object class. So if you see here, that's how the chain uh, inheritance works, and I think it's, it's not clear for you to understand how this basically in works. And yeah, I mean that's how it works really. And inheritance is extremely helpful in programming, and uh, I might be able to show you some examples where inheritance has been really helpful, and it works. I mean, it works wonders, and it's amazing. So, well, guys, I'll see you guys later in our next tutorial. Till then, bye-bye, see ya, and enjoy inheritance.